so much for being here and watching today's video. How are you guys all doing? I really hope you're well. Let me know down in the comments how you guys are. Hope you are enjoying this beautiful weather that we've got. It's honestly incredible. That's why if I'm very sweaty, it's because it's about 32 degrees in my room right now. And I would have my fan on, but my fan is super, super noisy. So I'm very conscious of that. But seagulls are going to be kind of interrupting I'm sure at some point throughout this video as well because I have to have at least some airflow coming in from my window so hopefully it's not too noisy because they are chatting away today and being cheeky little chappies out there. In today's video I am basically doing a roundup of some like I guess holiday pieces, special occasion pieces, potentially like a few in there that you could style a few different ways and then ending with Nasty Girl Festival pieces. So there's like kind of a mix of different brands and different pieces for different occasions and I just wanted to like bundle them all into one video because I really wanted a space to kind of share the pieces with you all because I am loving some of these pieces and taking quite a lot away with me over the next couple of months for like mini trips that I have, festivals and then just in general just wearing on an everyday basis. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So first up, starting with Forever New Pieces, this beautiful lilac satin dress. I mean, I actually can't cope with these dresses. They are so beautiful. I wasn't really sure what to expect with a bandeau dress in this material. I always felt like they're one of those materials that could easily like fall down when you're wearing them, especially without any straps. However, the way that they've done these is they've like built in like you know those sports bras or like bandeau like when you were growing up when you'd get those like bras inbuilt into tops it's kind of like that is inbuilt in the dress which is just so comfortable on and so flattering and just means that you don't feel like anything's going to move or fall down you can wear it with or without a bra which is ideal and i just love the like ruche side detailing of this it gives like little mermaid vibes to me in the lilac colour but then the next one you see is more mermaid vibes <laughs> but it's just beautiful and I'm actually going to be wearing this for a wedding coming up very very soon with my family and yeah I just thought it was perfect for that wearing with the espadrilles for kind of a summer garden wedding that I'm going to so I feel like this is going to be really nice for that but then also for holidays and then just having in my wardrobe for like the rest of my life hopefully but I just think it's absolutely beautiful and the quality is really really good and next up this beautiful blue version of the dress I actually can't decide which one I love more I feel like they're both such stunning colors this one for me is definitely more of a holiday styled evening dress if I was going a bit dressy or glam and I actually have a holiday coming up with Jay where we've got like quite a dressy evening with one of the evenings where we're going to this really nice restaurant so I feel like this is going to be perfect for that and this definitely screams more Little Mermaid vibes I feel like I'm very on trend with the fact that the movie's come out which I haven't seen I need to see that movie if you've seen it can you tell me if it's worth going to see because I was a big Little Mermaid fan for di like the Disney one back well they're both Disney but the the pre Little Mermaid and sometimes with these movies when they're redone I always get nervous about going and seeing them because I'm like is it gonna ruin the original but I'm sure it won't but I'd love to know your thoughts if you've seen it but this is giving that and I love it again quality is beautiful recommend true to size in this too and yeah I am seriously impressed with just how they feel and how they fit and I love the waterfall bottom detailing to this then next up from Forever New this beautiful little black mini dress so I believe this comes in a long version in a cream and a black and then also a mini version in the cream. It could also come in another color, but I can't quite remember. But I love the structure of this. It fits so well and feels amazing. Like it's a really nice kind of linen cotton blend, but it's double lined. So it feels really beautiful on, but very floaty. And like, I hope you guys can kind of see like when you move in it, it just moves so nicely. And I do think the price tag of Forever New Pieces does make sense to me now that I've got my first few pieces from the brand in a while. Like it is a an investment piece and you do end up spending a little bit more money on these really really special occasion dresses and I always recommend them for like wedding guest outfits one of my friends went to a wedding recently and I was just sending her links from the whole website there are so much choice on their website for different occasion dresses and she ended up going for two and wearing them for two different weddings and she looked amazing and they were some beautiful kind of like sheer mesh bodycon detailed floral dresses that were beautiful on her from them and again the quality was just amazing so really recommend recommend in terms of quality investing in those pieces that are really really beautiful and premium I feel like they just do it so so well now next up sharing a few pieces from never fully dressed so they really kindly sent me some pieces for an upcoming holiday but also I wanted these pieces just because I've been eyeing them up for quite a while and I feel like I've been dreaming about some of these for a while so I felt like it was about time 
I put them into my wardrobe and I'm going to be styling them different ways over the next few years I'm sure but first off this beautiful again kind of giving mermaid kind of dress I love this I think it is so stunning perfect for special occasions perfect for holidays perfect just if like me you like styling dresses like this for like friends birthdays with a pair of trainers and then like dressing down with denim jackets because I love a maxi or like midi dress at the moment like casual mini midi dresses I really love styling them for my friends birthdays with trainers and then dressing down which I feel like you could do with this one but I do love it with like heels or espadrilles and again for holiday I'm taking this away and I'm just going to style it with my flat little like slip on flip flops because I feel like this will just be lovely kind of dress for evenings but still being comfy because it's very floaty and again fits true to size but quality is just beautiful from never fully dressed and i've actually shopped from the brand i think one of the longest brands i've ever shopped from like top shop it's been like nearly nine or ten years that i've shopped from them and they have such a range of pieces which you guys will see in a second as well with their like cohorts and all of that and then the next dress now this is actually one that i really really wanted for my birthday this year i have i don't even know what i'm doing but I have a few things in mind and I know I definitely want to get a bit dressed up and I'm a colour girl through and through. I love bright pops of colour, I love pastel colours and I just feel like this is so beautiful and it's going to be perfect for the summer months and holidays and special occasions again but also for like moving into autumn I think I'd style this for like evenings out and then also with maybe brown accessories and if you had any like themed event evenings I know that's not something that's like always reoccurring but if you had like an 80s night, a Mamma Mia night or just like an Abba night, you could easily style this for those kind of occasions as well. But this for me is going to be my little holiday dress over the next coming months on any little trips that I might have going on that I felt like would just be perfect for during summer and then also with trainers as well dressed down but I love the colour of it I've actually tied the wrap detail to the back of the dress just to make it slightly tighter on me because I found that it wasn't really holding when I was tying it at the front so that's something I will mention is to like if you're in between sizes maybe size down and then also you can kind of mix and match the way that you're kind of using that tie waist detail you could do like a big a bow at the front or just a knot and yeah I think I'll probably experiment when I'm wearing it and I'm sure you guys will see over my Instagram how I kind of decide on the day but I feel like I'll mix and match those ways that I decide to go to like style it and wear it next up from never fully dressed this amazing cold set so they do some really fun bright pops of color sets and details and patterns to all their pieces which is what i really love about the brand it's like very happy all their pieces make me happy they're very bold and i feel like i want to be a bit more bold with my outfits i play it safe sometimes depending on how i'm feeling and i want to kind of get out my comfort zone on those days where all i want to do is wear neutrals and be like no today we're going to wear color we're going to lift our mood we're going to have some fun with what we're wearing so that was kind of the thought process behind this set and me having it and I feel like I'm gonna style this a few ways on my trip which is coming up in a few weeks and wear it with like a black bikini on the beach little denim shorts mix and match the two pieces together but then also wear it together as a set and I just think it's so beautiful again really lovely quality and I went true to size and I was really pleasantly surprised that the trousers fit me any five foot four or under girls out there or guys honestly I swear trousers from certain brands I'm usually like a bit worried that I'm just gonna have to go and get them taken in and spend more money on them and these fit perfectly I don't know if you guys can see hopefully you can and it gives like a clear representation of how they fit but it's got an elasticated waistband so I've basically just pulled them up a little bit higher and they still fit perfectly and then they're not dragging on the floor at all so yeah I feel like they'd work for like lots of different heights but they definitely work for five foot four and under as well next up two little cute sets from I think it's Carmella is the way that you say it, which I'm hoping it is but I came across this because Misha basically brought this pink crochet set on a holiday which you'll see in the next little cold in a second and she completely sold me that outfit she looked absolutely amazing and it was just very very cute and I thought I'd love to wear that mix and match different ways when I'm traveling or when I'm away or even just in the UK like on days out in Brighton I feel like I really wanted some more like pastel pinks so went for firstly I'm skipping to the next outfit but firstly went for this lilac little set which also comes in a cream and I think a dark khaki or a black like I couldn't really work out online which color it was but it's a little like short skirt set and shirt and I love the feel of this really floaty on I actually wore this for brunch with my family the other day and it was just perfect when it was really hot and I was in the sun didn't want to get sunburn but wanted to be cool at the same time and I just think it's really really cute for like city days out if you've got shopping days 
or days of your girls and I also like the fact that I could probably dress this up a few different ways with like my espadrilles or maybe even a little pair of court heels as well and then the pink crochet set that I went off on a tangent and started talking about is this little one here which I again love I've actually sold a bikini on under this as like a beach day fit but I think I'd also wear the top with a pair of blue denim shorts and then the skirt I'd probably dress up with like little white bralette cami tops and then like white shirts for the evening and then maybe some wraparound white heels I feel like there's just endless ways that I could style this mix and match and the one thing I like about cords when I'm going away or if I'm packing for a trip or if I'm planning like summer fits is that you can really just take that one look and get three different looks or even four different looks out of it like you could even unbutton the shirt detail a little bit and show off a bikini underneath and just go for like a little pair of white linen shorts there's just endless ways and I just felt like the fit and like the feel and quality of it was so lovely and yeah I'm really excited to wear this over the next coming months. Now next up randomly I'm chucking this in here because I was like where am I going to chuck in some new in pieces like this and I'm chucking in some nasty girl festival fits. I feel like over the next coming months maybe moving into July I will do a full video just based on festival styling because I have a lot of stuff that I've had for years that I feel like are those core cool pieces that I continuously no matter what the year what the season I always then restyle for festival season so I'll do a video very very soon in July at some point based around that but it will be pieces that I'll hopefully link similars for whereas this is all like new in from Nasty Girl when I was shopping their festival section on their website which by the way is just so good they have so much option and yeah lots of really really cool fun pieces and I feel like they've got something for everyone because they do a lot of like styles and colors and different shapes and bold prints but First off is this three piece set, which is a bikini and shirt combo, which actually I was debating whether to take away with me on an upcoming trip, but I actually think I prefer it with the denim skirt and the cowboy boots styled for a festival. And then if you've got any festivals like Wilderness or I think Shambhala or Secret Garden also have a lake that you can like jump in, I feel like this would be really good for that. I'm kind of still currently manifesting that wilderness is going to happen again for me this year. But I feel like if you have something like this one, you could easily then just wear the bikini, jump in the lake in the day and then dry off and then put your like little bits and bobs back on. So I feel like this would be perfect for festivals like that. And I just thought it was a really fun, bold print. And I love styling my denim skirt when it comes to festival season and cowboy boots like linked together as a little combo. And you can kind of do this with anything that you've got. You could even do this with like a bold print bikini that you have. And then like, if you've got even like a contrasting print shirt that you love and then layer on and just basically recreate this with stuff that you guys might already have that's quite fun in your wardrobes so I just thought this was lovely and the material of the bikini is really really good as well and I really liked the shape and fit of it I like the fact that you can mix and match the ways you're going to style this bikini so many different ways and I actually done a video recently with my triangle bikini doing I think nine different ways to wear so if you guys are unsure on like styling the bikinis with this kind of strap multiple ways then head over to my TikTok because I've included that video there and it's got so many different ways to style just like one bikini that you might have and next up it wouldn't be a me kind of video about lots of pink so I've gone for this sparkly pink set which is so fun so soft on actually like it's got a sheer inner lining and it I was a bit worried that the sequins when you get sequin pieces that they rub when you're moving however I wore this for a good I want to say solid 10 minutes in my bedroom dancing around to a few Peggy Goo songs <laughs> while I was filming this and it doesn't rub there's no rubbing because you've got this inner lining and then you've also got like stitching around the waist I love that I'm doing this so you guys can't see my waist right now <laughs> but I do want to say is if you're in between sizes size down because the skirt does come up big and I am going to be like sewing in the back detail I'm actually trying to teach myself to take things in because I can't keep spending so much money on getting everything taken up or taken in at the back so I'm teaching myself I've got a sewing machine I'm learning <laughs> and I'm going to try and take this in a little bit with that but just so fun I thought this would be great with the cowboy boots for festival season and also if you don't like a cohort set like this and you prefer maybe dressing it down a little bit more for festivals I probably do like a cargo star trouser or even maybe just some plain denim shorts with the cowboy boots and then just focus on the top as like the main focus point of the look and then maybe put on some like matching pink glitter on my eyes or something like that now this is probably my favorite outfit I say this maybe the next one is my favorite outfit from this like little nasty girl chunk of this video but I love this denim set there's like little gold embellished stars on it and some silver details and it's just so well done like it's so premium it's 
Oh, I just love the fit and structure. I think the shorts are the most flattering shorts I've ever owned in this denim feel. Like, I feel like I need to hunt them down now without the embellishments because I want a pair for every day. I just love this little kind of like tapered detailing that they come out slightly and then they're not too cheeky on the bum, but they're they're very flit like fitted and flattering. I can't really explain it. Hopefully you guys can see on the screen and it kind of explains it for itself, but I thought this was so fun. I've started with some white detailed accessories and I feel like this is probably one of the, out of all of them so far, like the runner up that I'll probably go for is like my first festival fit when I attend my festival that I'm going to in, I think it's August or September, I can't remember, but hopefully that's all going ahead i'm planning something at the moment for that so i feel like this would be the fit that i would go for and yeah i love it and i feel like you can mix and match these pieces again if you just wanted the jacket over like lace long cami dresses with chunky black and gold belts and cowboy boots or even like floral maxi dresses or long kind of ruffled skirts and little like bralette tops there's just endless ways that I would wear this and style it for festival season and yeah the shorts are just super super cute. Now this is the other outfit that I was like do I prefer this one or the other one? I just don't know which one I love more but it's this amazing disc skirt which I will say I can't remember if it's one size online or whether you can size down. If you can size down I'd recommend sizing down but I think the reason if it is one size would be that the clasps are kind of like a necklace clasp and you can pick and choose like how far over you bring the clasp so you don't have to have a slit on the leg like I've got here. You can really bring it all the way around depending on sizing for you. I will say it makes a lot of noise so it is one of those things that I love it and I think I really want to wear this at some point this year but I'm like is it going to be too noisy while I'm dancing but then I guess if music's playing really loudly I don't know if you'd hear it if you're wondering what the sound of it makes is then head over to my TikTok and I've got a little video of me talking through it and you can hear it in that video because I'm definitely not going to leave the sound on for that but I just wanted to start with a graphic tee, make the skirt like the main focus point of an outfit. I feel like that's one of the things I love doing a lot with festival looks is doing like my favourite pop of colour graphic tee or neutral like graphic tee like I've done here and then doing a fun either short or skirt or even some like flared sequin trousers and then styling around like my cowboy boots and I did try on a fedora with this outfit and fedoras just don't look good on me. I really did try but I yeah it didn't look right so I feel like you could if you pull off fedoras it would look very very cool with a hat as well but for me it's a no-go but let me know what you guys think of this one and the last one I'd love to know which one you prefer I thought there was one other but that is it for the video so I hope you guys enjoyed let me know which pieces were your favorite down below and I would have left all links down below if you can't find anything or you're wondering in terms of sizing for stuff and it's not down there then do leave me a comment or send me a dm over on instagram and if you have any requests for over the next like couple of weeks and months do let me know and I'll get around to filming them for you guys and yeah I'm just sending all my love and thanking you guys so so much for being here and supporting me as always and yeah i will see you guys in the next video lots of love Mwah. bye